dear brothers and sisters now let us talk about the third gift of the resurrection it is the gift of authority to forgive sins only god can forgive sins but jesus who is true god and true man shares his authority to forgive sins with his apostles in john chapter 20 verse 23 we read if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven them if you retain the sins of any they are retained dear brothers and sisters it shows how merciful jesus is towards all of us sinners by making forgiveness readily available to us it also shows how jesus is generous in giving us mortals the authority to forgive sins forgiving others sins is a special gift of the resurrection of the lord the church makes this conferral of authority to forgive sins as the foundation for the sacrament of reconciliation so all those who believe in the resurrection believe in the forgiveness of sins and all those who believe in the forgiveness of sins should also believe in the sacrament of reconciliation or confession dear brothers and sisters let us first of all thank jesus for sharing his authority to forgive sins with us mortals and secondly let us make the best use of the sacrament of reconciliation there are number of advantages of making good confession let us examine these advantages now first when we make good confession our sins are washed away we are made clean we become pure we become once again the children of god we regain the lost status of being children of god second when we make good confession we receive grace not to fall back into sin easily there is grace that prevents us from falling into sin easily dear brothers and sisters this is one of the fruits of making a good confession third when we make good confession we cultivate the virtue of humility the proud will never approach the sacrament of confession they pride will prevent them from going to the confessional but the humble approach the sacrament of confession when we make good confession dear brothers and sisters we cultivate the virtue of humility fourth when we make good confession our heart becomes light and the burden of guilt of sin 
is taken away from us. We feel light. We feel as if something is taken away from our heart. Such will be our feeling when we make good confession. And finally, when we make good confession, we become reinvigorated to do good in the place of evil that we had done before. We will start doing good things in the sight of the Lord. This is also one of the advantages of making a good confession, dear brothers and sisters. So, these and many other advantages we have of the sacrament of confession or reconciliation. Let us make the best use of the sacrament of confession as it is the special gift of the risen Lord. This gift of the Lord reminds us of our duty to forgive others taking the first step. There is a small incident to elucidate this point, dear brothers and sisters. Once a Christian was being persecuted, he was brutally tortured and was at the point of death. Then his persecutors mockingly asked him, what will your Jesus do for you now? You are going to die. Then came the feeble reply from this persecuted Christian. My Jesus gives me the strength to forgive you all. Dear brothers and sisters, this is what we all need to understand. The gift of the resurrection of Jesus is authority to forgive sins. Now let us move on to the fourth gift of the resurrection. That is the gift of preaching the good news. Jesus gave a mandate to his apostles to go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. The good news is that God loves us unconditionally. The good news is Jesus died for our sins and saved us by his death and resurrection. The good news is in Jesus we have forgiveness of sins. The good news is we are heirs of the kingdom of God. This good news is to be communicated to all the people and Jesus gives us the authority to go ahead to give this good news to all the people, dear brothers and sisters. All the apostles gladly took up this mandate of the Lord. Let us also have the joy of giving the good news to others. Dear brothers and sisters, the resurrection of Jesus has so much to do with our present life too. We need to understand the gifts of the resurrection and experience them in our life. May the risen Lord make our lives more meaningful and joyful. Amen. Let us pray. God our loving Father, Thank you for the death and the resurrection of your beloved son, Jesus Christ. Because of his resurrection, we receive the gifts of his living presence, his peace and his authority to forgive sins and to proclaim the good news. Give us your grace to understand these things and bear much fruit in our lives. We make this prayer 
In the most precious name of Jesus our Lord and God. Amen.